Hello everyone, this is Mudan Raghavan and this video we are going to see how to execute our test cases in serial mode. In entry and scenario or independent test cases, one test case must be executed after another test case. Basically, we should execute our test cases in a serial or sequential manner. How to implement same thing in playwright? Because it will be very much required in case if you are testing the entry and flow. So let's try to understand further. Basically, we will execute test cases in serial mode in case of dependent test cases or NTN flow test cases. And as we know, in Playwright, we have browser context page objects or fixtures. In order to run the dependent test cases or NTN flow test cases, we need to reuse the page in serial mode. How to do that? Let's try to understand further. Before going to understand the actual code, we will try to understand what is a basic end-to-end -end scenario or simple dependent test case? Imagine you are in the service tab and you are going to create the contact. But let's see how to create the contacts. It is a basic contact. Click on new, demo. The only mandatory field for this creating contact will be only the last name. So I'm just giving demo 10 and click on save. Now we have created the contact. After making sure we have created the contact, under the contact, we are going to create the new case. Case might be the ticket or any issue. And in this, you can see automatically contact name has been created because we are creating the case from the same contact. Some mandatory fields would be case, product, and type. That's all, let's click on save. Now here you can see, Contact has been created. After creating the contact, we have created the case for that. So this is a very simple flow where we will be creating contact then case. We will try to implement the same in our playwright. Let's go to the VS code now. For simplicity, we have created some of the basic methods here. In playwright, first of all, we will tell, we are going to execute all the test cases in serial mode. So for that, we need to write a special statement, tester.describe.configure. And in that object, you will be mentioning mode equal to serial. Now, before all method we can use to log into the page. So for that, we are going to use the page. However, here you can see, we have created the page reference or page variable outside all the methods. That means that this page variable will be used across all the test cases. Now here you can see, we are not creating new page here. We are just creating the browser because browser also one of the defined fixtures and in before all we can use only browser we cannot use the context and page the reason is context and page will be depending on each and every test whereas browser will be common across all the things so that's the reason in test before all we can use only browser by using the browser fixtures we are creating the new page then obviously we are following the same steps we are creating the instance for the login page and login page will be just making the login and login will give the final home page. In home page, we are just checking service title is visible or not. Here we have just minimized some more things, quick login, which will have the internal methods, navigate to login page, fill username, password, and click on login button. Now, basically this will land you to the home page. Now in this, again, you can directly pass in the page in the create contact and open test. But now this page will be the same which we used in the previous before all method because we are sharing the same page object across all the tests. So at this point of time, since we are executing in serial mode, if it reaches here, that means that this entire code has been executed already. If this entire code has been executed already means you are in the home page. Now we are creating the contact page by using the existing page. Now, when you go to the contact page, create new contact. Now, if you go to the create new contact, here you can see in the home page, you will have the contacts. For example, if you go to here, even though if you are in the home page, you can see the contacts tab. So the same way, we are clicking on the contacts link and we are doing the same actions. For example, simple, we created the page object model. It will be expecting the first name and last name. And here we are getting the test data from the JSON file, which is very simple, like a data driven testing. And contact flow, you can go to the test data and contact flow. So here basically I am just giving all the information from the external file rather than hard coding everything. 
So I'm giving the first name, last name, and I'm expecting the same thing is displayed inside the contact page after creating. Then after that, I'm searching for the same contact in the search list and I'm just opening. Now, when this page comes, that means that at this point of time, you are in the contact page and you need to make sure you should be in the contact page. Now in the case page, basically one of the page object model, just go to the pages and case page. Here you can see create new case. So here also I have mentioned the comments. Test should be in the contact detail page, which means that if you go to the contacts, so this is not the contact detail page. If you just open anything, you are in the exact contact page where you will have all the details. So we should be in this page in order to execute the create case. Then create new case from the contact detail page. Then test data, case origin, case product, and case type. And this is given from the external file. Now that's all. Now if we closely understand here, first of all, we mentioned we should be executing in the serial mode. That means that it is going line by line or method by method. Before all, obviously it will be executed first. It makes sure you log into the Salesforce and create contact and open. Basically, this is responsible to create the contact and to open the same contact in the detail page. Then create case will be responsible to create the case. Then obviously that's all. Then we will be closing the page dot close. Now in this scenario, you can see we cannot execute directly second or third without executing first. Basically, we need to execute first, second and third. It should go in the serial way. And that's what we are doing in this test class. Before executing, we will go to the test data and contact case flow. Let's imagine we need to give the unique name because contact name should be unique. Let's imagine we are giving demo 11. Make sure you saved it and go to the terminal. npx playwright test serial test dot spec dot ts hyphen hyphen headed. So before all method executes and it makes sure it logins to the Salesforce. And it creates a contact. It's searching for the same demo 11. Now it creates the case for this. Now everything is completed. If you want to see the record, or if you want to see the report, just again npx play red show report, enter. Now here you can see, so it has created the contact first, contact demo 11 created. And if you go to the next one, create case test. Here you can see it is creating the case as well. For better assets, you can create some more assets to make sure we create the correct case and all. But this clearly explains how to execute the test cases in serial mode. Now recap very simple way. We should be mentioning the mode as serial by using the test.describe.configure and we should share the page object across all the tests. And whenever you create one more object class or object instance, you need to make sure that page is in the correct state. For example, if I create the object for contact page, you are responsible to make sure at that point of time, page should be in the contact page. The same way, if you want to navigate to the case, you need to make sure at that point of time, our previous test cases should be responsible to make sure the page is in the case page. And the reference will be here. So in order to understand a very simple way, you can use the same reference, retrace. And here you can see the page will be used or shared across all the test cases. So this is all about this video and always be a rainbow in others cloud.